about y'all, but when I'm decorating or when I'm doing anything um, that requires a lot of time, I make a mess. And I'm not even going to be this perfect person. It's life, it is what it is. But in the end, it's cute and it'll be clean in the end. So don't judge me. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. My name is Crochet and I am a first year, first grade teacher in Texas. The last video you guys saw, you saw me setting, or not setting up my room, you saw me moving things into my classroom, and I kind of uh, unpacked and rearranged desks, but today is going to be my first classroom setup vlog, so I am so excited, y'all. Right now, I'm at Target because I need to find some border. I don't know if I'll find some here. If not, I will go to either um, Lakeshore or Mardell later on today, but I'm going to be in my classroom all day today. Um, right now, it's like 8.20, but I'm going to be in my class till about 4 o'clock, about 4, 4, 30. So to clear it up, the last time I was in my classroom, you guys saw that my ac was not working and it was like 82 degrees and i was literally dying so it turns out my ac was never broken um there's a switch there's like a room inside of my classroom and there's a switch in there to turn on the ac so i don't know my ap said that she turned it on so i don't know why the ac would not come on but i actually went into my classroom the next day and um the ac did work so yeah we're not dying <laughs> going to go ahead and go into target and then i will see you guys once i get to my room this, this is me coming into my room it is a complete disaster <laughs> um i actually came the day after um i moved my stuff into my room so it's a little bit different. Um, I put these up. So I put my calendar up. Um, and I put these up. And I also put some paper up here. But I don't like it. I don't like the rainbow border. So that's why I wanted to find me some black and white border. So I'm going to change that out. And then I put some over here too, but again, I'm gonna change that border out. I started putting this wallpaper up. Um, yeah, so um, I'm gonna complete it and put it all up around here. And let me get to work first. The very first thing I'm going to do is get all of this organized and put up. crazy in here but to me it's coming get together so I got all the books down here's a bunch of books and then here's a whole bunch of books y'all oh my gosh so I'm about to go through the books but just to show you guys um I went ahead and created a list up here um I moved my desk over there and I'm gonna move the students desk towards the back um yeah I'm it's coming together slowly but surely. I just wanted to come on here and say that Jack in the Box iced coffee is so slept on. The caramel iced coffee is so good. I've been a bit overwhelmed with all those books, um, but I'm going to try and get those organized today so that I can feel less pressured and overwhelmed um, i'm gonna be here all day till about four o'clock so right now it's like 9 30 so let's get to work y'all y'all this is the cutest book i got the rhythm oh my gosh it's so cute <laughs> So 
so three hours later y'all oh my gosh it took me so long to go through all of those books there are a bunch of books these are all the books that i am keeping they are all categorized so i just need to go home tonight and make labels for them but y'all look at all of these books that were literally given to me how insane is that a bunch y'all here these are all of the books that i did not want like i can't keep them all y'all <laughs> so i am going to leave these for my she's actually my mentor teacher as well so i'm going to leave these for her and let her go through them for her toddler and then she'll take them to goodwill So as you guys can see, this is how I ended up doing my desk. Um, I'm going to take these home and spray paint them black. But this is going to be like a community drawer for my kids. Well, it won't be necessarily a community drawer because they'll have their own bins. But I will store them in here. And on top of here, I think is where I'm going to like um, put their table numbers. But I have to buy two more for up there. But these, two, these four were given to me. So there were six groups. So yeah. I'm gonna do it late till tomorrow. Um, and then I also ran out of room over here, so I'll put um, X and then YZ going over like this. It is what it is. Um, I think it turned out so cute. Um, right here is gonna be Champs. Oh, right here. Right here is gonna be like my Champs posters that I made. Um, and it's the same theme as that. So I really like it. Um, here's my birthday little setup. But yeah, oh my gosh, I love it. Top up here, I'm going to have these um, colors. And then over up here, I'm going to put these genres, these book genres. So that's all I have for you guys today. Um, I feel like I accomplished a lot. Tomorrow I am definitely going to finish this wall. Um, and then I think I'm going to start pull, putting up bulletin boards. Um, I'm going to finish up here and also finish over here. Um, and then I should go home and um, print out these labels. Yeah, I'm going to go home and print out these labels for here. And put them on there tomorrow um what else i need to find some sort of like cloth and fabric to go across these mm. that's how it's looking so far so i'm actually gonna make this a day one into classroom setup vlog so i'm not gonna post this one just yet but i will see you guys tomorrow i am going to go ahead and leave for the day I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Okay, so this is how I am leaving the room. I'm definitely gonna fix that tomorrow. But 
this is how I'm leaving it. It is still a hot mess express, but it's my hot mess express, y'all. All right, guys, I'm about to paint this bookshelf that I bought off of the Facebook market. I'm going to paint it black so it can be my bookshelf for my classroom. Welcome to day two of my classroom setup video. So the last time you guys saw me, I was spray painting my bookshelf, but I ran out of spray paint. So I had to go to Target and they didn't have any more black spray paint. So I had to wait till this morning and I went to Walmart and I bought more spray paint. Spray, spray paint, I can't even talk. Um, so right now I am at my school in my school's parking lot and I am about to spray paint I am about to spray paint my shelf So I forgot my um, the shelves that go inside of the bookshelf at home So I won't be able to officially set up the bookshelf today But I am going to get to spray paint it and put it in my rooms so Okay guys, so this is how I left my room. So I was trying to see what fell. So this August something label thingy magic fell. And it was like oh okay. It was like on a magnetic. But the sticky part must did not stick. Okay, and then my my bathroom signs fell along with my how do we go home. So I'm going to have to figure out another way to put that up. Okay, so I just moved a bunch of the stuff from the teacher whose room I took over into her new office. And I am so tired. She's not able to come right now to move her thing. So I went ahead and did it for her. So right now, to cool down, I have the fan like blowing directly on me. Right now to cool down, I am going to go ahead and cut everything that I laminated uh, this morning. shelf is outside drying that's just great like how this looks at the bottom y'all oh because it goes over the border and i did not have, have enough room and then like i couldn't put my title it said be a champ i couldn't even put that up because i didn't have room tell me what i should do 
so that I can have a title? Should I make a title like be, be a champ? Like what should I do? Let me know in the comments. Guys, this is literally so satisfying. So satisfying, oh my gosh. Okay, so now that I got those up, I'm going to go ahead and um, go check on my bookshelf because it rained outside, so. I don't know how that's gonna look. I'm gonna take a bunch of paper towels, but yeah. <laughs> this wall is looking so far i went ahead and finished my voice levels remember i told you guys i wanted to change out the background in the or not change out the background change out the border um so this is how it's looking i like this way better than the rainbow um so now i am putting up my um anchor chart anchor chart backgrounds um this is gonna be for science um reading and math so yeah That took a long time, <laughs> but um, here it is. Um, so I realized that the magnetic little squares um, work better than the command strips. So this is how it looks. Um, I have to go home and make the headers with my Cricut for um, what science, math, or science, reading, and math. Um, I actually like it. So yeah. I'm absolutely obsessed.
and then it worked out because the little pockets are literally the same color as my um background paper oh my gosh i love so these are for anchor charts and then these are for my teaks and standards but oh my gosh i love it love 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 <laughs> word wall um this is chalkboard um contact paper so i am going to use this for my word wall and i bought these um liquid chalkboard markers so i'm having to shake this up before i can use it but i'm going to show you guys how it works So cute and then also um, if you can see right here I wiped um, you can use the expo um, whiteboard care to just uh, wipe off whatever you don't want or if you want to clean it off or whatever so I love it um, I got all of these cute colors so I can't wait to use them for my rainbow word wall okay so that's all I have for y'all today um, I feel like I got a lot accomplished um let me show you guys what i got i did today so here is this side of the wall um remember i redid the background paper and the border on these and moved the hand signals from here to here um so now they're right here and this will be my focus wall for like my eye can statements and things like that these are this would be my focus area for each subject um so i'll do science reading and math um, i'm going to go home tonight and create um some titles with my cricket um and then these will be for anchor charts these will be for my teaks and standards and then i may have something down here um for the groups for like centers uh i didn't put what i was supposed to put up here yet um, over here, I also changed the background and the border, and um, I added the title, voice level. So down here, I ran out of paper, or I ran out of border, so I just put this cute inspired, put that cute inspired quote at the bottom, and it looks good. Um, I didn't do anything to the front. I still need to finish the alphabet up there, and I need to put the colors at the very top. Didn't put my classroom jobs or rules or anything like that up. But I did go ahead and put up my word wall. Um, so over here, I have a really cute quote that I got from Target. But I'm just going to wait till tomorrow to finish it. And it's going to go all down there. Um, but this is my word wall. Um, so I found out that using the little magnetic squares works really well on the um, dry erase board. So I use that for my border. Um, I didn't want to put a border at the bottom. But yeah, this is how this is looking. I really don't know if I like the create and play. Um, I have some alphabet that are the same colors as the create and play. So it's the rainbow colors. I'm thinking about putting those letters up there instead of the create play. But I really don't know. So let me know in the comments if you think I should change that or keep that. Um, that's really all I did today other than this bookshelf that is literally destroyed um it got wet so now it's all soggy so i'm going to have to try and find some more cardboard i don't know how that's gonna go but i will figure it out um the room is a hot mess i don't know about y'all but when i'm decorating or when i'm doing anything um that requires a lot of time i make a mess 
and i'm not even going to be this perfect person it's life it is what it is but in the end it's cute and it'll be clean in the end but in the process of me doing it i create a mess so literally my room is a mess but it will be cute later on okay <laughs> So don't judge me. I literally told the janitors, like, don't even come to my room to try and clean up nothing. Like, no, like, I, it's it's a mess. So don't even try. Like, I will clean it. And so they were like, okay. And I'm like, don't even, don't even. I really hope you guys enjoyed this classroom setup vlog. Um, I will go tomorrow or I will come to school tomorrow for my day three of classroom setup. So this is day two. Um, it's been exciting it's been fun but it has been very stressful i guess because it's just me um dude it's so hard when it's just you doing all of this work so i commend anybody who does it look at beyonce <laughs> but yeah so i it's getting there it is getting there but y'all this is literally crazy like i have not eaten today all i did was drink coffee I have not eaten. Oh my gosh, I have to go get some food because my stomach is it's don't forget to follow me on my teacher Instagram at Crochet Teaches. I am very active on there. I always post. I always love connecting and talking with y'all. If you have any tips for anything, like literally anything, because I am a first year teacher, y'all. So everything that I'm doing, I'm doing it as a first year teacher. So if you have any tips, if you have any suggestions, if you have any any critiquing me on anything go ahead and comment below or you can message me on instagram i'm totally fine with criticism but i can't even talk with constructive criticism this is an overview of my little disaster that is coming along Thank you so much for watching. If you are new here, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.